Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back for another Era of Chaos video. I'm Galaxis. Thanks for tuning in. We're here on my free to play account, and what we're going to do today is just take a look back at what it took to get Judicator. Finally, have Judicator here on my account. I grinded, I was just definitely putting in a lot of work, but now uh, we have Judicator up to level 52, right along with everybody else here on the squad, and uh, we have skill three of the skills unlocked and we have them at six of six we've got ray of judgment blessing and blessing of light so we're going to just continue to grind on this judicator and get her leveled up uh, right there with the rest of my squad we got angel in there devil red dragon ogre pit fiend judicator demon who and uh, monk who are on my main squad right now i have rock um gog that i switch in and out and the rest of the team is coming along quite quite well but i definitely want to keep on grinding uh, i'm putting together a castle team and an inferno team so i'm kind of working on that right now judicator is a uh, all-around commander that can go on many different uh, teams and uh, setups formations for different uh, factions that you might want to be playing so let's go take a look back real quick i want to show you guys what it took to pick judicator up you know the way that i went ahead and uh, went about spending my diamonds and everything and i know that it can be a little bit confusing when it comes to the uh limited time covenant events so i'm going to do a little bit of explanation as i go through so let's go ahead and jump on into that okay so on day one we went ahead and spent 2700 diamonds and we got a pretty nice amount of oracle covenants out of that and then we were also able because we spent the 10 we were able to pick up the a couple more extra out of the chest there for spending 10 uh, doing the 10 times pull on the second day we did the same thing we did another 2700 diamond pool the reason why we do that and split that up over multiple days is because there's a bonus that you get extra artifact essence bonus when you spend 880 diamonds in one day so we split that up over the four day event in order to get the most rewards out of it so at the end of day two we had 26 oracle covenants towards Judicator. So we had a lot of work still to do. On day three, we're gonna go ahead and do two 10 times pulls. So we're gonna spend 2,700 diamonds two times, and uh, that is going to allow us to be able to spend two more on day four, and uh, then we'll, we should be able to unlock it. So after the first one, we're able to get three more Oracle Covenants out of the, uh, the 30 chest there for doing 30. And then we went ahead and did another 2,700 pull, that was the second one on day three, and we got a lot of Oracle Covenants out of that. Turned out pretty well. Bunch of Dragon Steel and other things as well that, that definitely helps out. And so now we were on, we also had a free one that I didn't realize. And out of that, I got a couple more out of that as well. So it turned out good. And at the end of day three, we had 54, 54 Oracle Covenants towards Judicator. So on day four, the final day, we went ahead and did another two times 2,700 diamonds, two, two times 10 pulls, and then we're able to really uh, turn out exactly what we needed. We actually had a little bit more at the end that we'll see, um, but we were able to open up the 50 chest because we had already done enough for that, and we got five out of that. Five, that was really nice. That was awesome, but we still weren't quite there. We had 72 that we had to pick up. Uh, a few more so we had also our free one and we got dragon steel out of that but for our last 10 times pull another 2700 diamonds the final amount that we're going to have to spend we went ahead and did a uh, 10 times pull and boom there you go we ended up getting a lot lot of good stuff out of there as well and then um, that gave us enough so we'll go ahead and take a look and now i have 85 so 85 is really great and we only need 80 in order to uh, pick up judicator so i went ahead and went down took a few off of there and boom there you go i don't even think you need to take any off i think you can just purchase it'll leave the rest of those but i wanted to do it just to to have that done so there we go now we have uh just well actually looked like we had 82 so apparently we didn't even need those we could have taken a couple more back all right so we're able to unlock judicator get that going and uh, here we go opening her up and uh, here we have 
her there. And, you know, I started to work on her. I had to do a lot of work to get her leveled up, um, you know, so that I can bring Judicator out with the rest of my team. Had a lot of upgrading to do. And, um, you know, this is where kind of the fun stuff comes in because if you have the resources, you can easily do it. If you don't have the resources, then it's time to get grinding. But uh, I've been saving a lot of resources and making sure that um, I'm only using the resources here on the free-to-play account towards things that are important and not just kind of throwing it all over the place because there is a lot of stuff that you can get uh, that you can sink your resources into. And so you see here we have the skills uh, first one and two unlocked. And so I went ahead and started feeding all this stuff to her and uh, took away a little bit of that. And then we were ready to go. Uh, we got that set up and now we are ready to jump on over and do her uh, next skill and you can see i just have a lot of resources sit around i make sure that i'm not wasting those on units that i'm not going to actually end up using um you know in the formations that i'm trying to build like i said i'm working on castle and i'm working on inferno uh, those are the two factions that i'm trying to work on so you can see when uh you get these leveled up blessing really really great giving high morale to all of the friendly units. I mean, she just really all the way around shines. And I ran out of resources, so I had to keep on grinding on that. You know, I showed you guys where we are at right now, and uh, she is in really, really good shape. And guys, once you get the steward unlocked, isn't that totally awesome? You can just quick complete all this stuff. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap the video up. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you have anything that you want to see me do here in a video, make sure to leave a comment and make sure to leave a thumbs up. Get subscribed for more videos. Come back and check out some more Era of Chaos videos. And I will catch you guys next time. I'm out of here. Peace.